What's good YouTube? It's Stud HD coming to you guys with a brand new video and today in this video we're going to be checking out the new season of Boom Brandon Ayuk and Madden 25 Ultimate Team. This Brandon Ayuk actually looks pretty solid. I don't think he's going to be the wide receiver number one in the game. However, he should be a really good slot wide receiver. Taking a look at his stats, he is six foot, 200 pounds with 84 speed. We do have guys like Tyreek Hill and now David Njoku who do have over 86 speed, but he does have 87 catching, 84 short route running, 84 medium, and 78 deep route running. You'd want that deep route running to be 80, but him being in the slot, I guess it's going to be fine on those medium routes. He also has 84 change of direction and also 83 juke move. Brandon and I should actually get the good spin move, which is awesome to see. Now, taking a look at abilities, he does get tireless runner for zero AP. He gets steamroller for one AP, and he also gets a third down threat. Now, you do have to activate these abilities. This one is literally just three consecutive catches or like three consecutive targets so it shouldn't be too hard to activate but since nobody has really abilities then he should be able to catch the ball no matter what on third down when we throw it to him and then of course he has the basic abilities like double me yak him up max security rack and grab and smash an ankle breaker but those are the abilities and these are the stats on this card let's go ahead and get into a game plan check out how this brandon Ayuk performs i don't want to be that guy but i might have to start route stem glitching people in this game when it comes to gameplays because i somehow cannot get receivers open other than this one right here brandon Ayuk with a crazy big gain and we actually almost were going to the crib if we had that steamroller ability we probably would have maybe broken the tackle make that post very tiny so it's like definitely not going to we do have mccaffrey and i might as well just take my mccaffrey touchdown brandon Ayuk did get us down the field on a really big gain down the sidelines you know 6-1 is my bread and butter and we're gonna be living in 6-1 this is the defense that i play and we're gonna live in it and it's gonna be my world He's getting no yards on that play. I've tried playing in double mug and mid blitz. And to be honest, that defense literally just never works for me. So I guess I'm just going to stay in 6-1. I mean, other than the fact that I'm not guarding the flats. And can we get a good hit stick, please? And I do not know why. I just absolutely switch sticked out of there. I think the switch stick might be the worst thing to add to this game. When I just want to move down the field, I switch on to the wrong player, but we are going to be getting a bit of a sack, I guess you could say, on Anthony Richardson. We're just going to man up one of my players on the McCaffrey. He is going to be blocking, throwing a zig route, and we are going to be getting a tackle there. Can we get a hit stick? We are going to get a hit stick. Please jump on that ball. Thank you for my perfect timed hit stick. Man, it is great to see fumbles back in Madden. If we do something like this, maybe Ayuk will get open on this play. And it looks like he should get open. Get your feet down, buddy. Toe tap, drag, swag there. Two catches, 84 yards. As long as we don't get sacked, we could have Ayuk open. And I will just take McCaffrey. Hit a juke move. McCaffrey going down the field. Maybe hit a spin move. And honestly, just break a couple more tackles. Go down the field. This PA bunch shot has always been a decent play for me. I just have to really hope that... Ayuk can get open, and Ayuk is definitely getting open. Maybe it won't be that smart, but we are going to put Ayuk on a smaller corner route, and maybe he'll get open. We should actually have that. Get your toes down. Three catches, 103 yards. If I can get him into the end zone, that's kind of my goal. I guess we'll just put him on a drag. I don't know if a drag's really going to be the best play, and actually, Brandon Ayuk is going to be getting a touchdown on his fourth catch of the game play. A little drag route. I really wanted to put him on a zig, but unfortunately, we don't have zig routes as a hot route anymore. So, if we can get a crazy hit stick, and I was so close to hit sticking Hopkins with, with whoever McCollum is. I don't exactly have dollar defense, but we do have this dime package, and maybe we could actually get a crazy insta blitz, and that is not going to be happening, but we are going to get a sack, though. We actually ended up closing that pocket perfectly. Okay, I'm actually not liking this, but we are going to... We're going to see. We did man up Hopkins, and it looks like we're going to be getting an interception with the Honey Badger. And maybe he'll just tackle me. I kind of wanted to actually go back, but I know people will literally quit out instantly if that happens. I honestly think this hitch route might actually work. It's really going to depend if McCaffrey and everybody basically just runs away from him. So we're going to see, and this was actually very dumb. I'd seen that... No, please. Can we get can we get a tackle? Ninjoku, please catch him. I will say the good news about me throwing two pick sixes is the fact that my opponent actually hasn't been able to do anything on offense himself. So it's kind of a good sign, I guess, in a way. 
I am essentially just beating myself, which is actually kind of crazy. And do we have anybody? It looks like we're just going to have to take McCaffrey and maybe hit a juke. And McCaffrey gets kind of hit sticked a little bit there. We're going to go to this PA read play. Usually you would put Ayuk on a streak, but we're not really worried about that. Ayuk is going to be coming down with that ball. Five catches, 131 yards, and he's also got a touchdown too. All right, we're just going to put him on a bit of an out route. And that should be a easy catch and catch that Ayuk. Thank you. At some point, my opponent is probably just going to guard Ayuk the whole time. And McCaffrey, this should be an easy rushing touchdown. Another drive where Brandon Ayuk carries us down the field. Oh, we just got a crazy hit stick. I swear, if he catches that ball, we had another perfectly timed hit stick. And we couldn't get the ball. Oh, that's so unfortunate. Wow, that was actually kind of crazy. And can we have like a little bit of a blitz or something? An absolutely terrible throw by... I don't know who this Smith dude is, but I'm definitely going to be aiming to hit stick him. And he actually might have just got a return touchdown. There is no way that we're giving this guy all this cheese, right? Is there anybody? It looks like he is going to have Metcalf. All right, we're looking at McCaffrey or probably Heinz Ward. It looks like we are definitely going to be going to Heinz Ward. Hit a little RPO, hit a juke, and get a first down with Heinz Ward. All right, team, I need y'all to play as good as possible. And it looks like we are going to be having Heinz Ward cutting up the field. Another huge gain on offense. Maybe I'll decide to go to Heinz Ward again. It looks like Heinz Ward is going to be that guy. And a little bit of a lag, but thankfully, Heinz Ward's CPU just cuts up the field for me. Obviously, I want to win this game, so we have to be careful who we decide to throw to. And it looks like Hester is going to be getting in on the action with a touchdown. I seen that guy get on to Jabril Peppers, and I was like, I am not going to be testing his user. We didn't really get anything with Ayuk on that drive, but I will take my touchdown. We just got to play some defense. Get a hit stick. Boom! Man, that is not exactly a fumble or a perfect hit stick, but I will take it. It's man up that Hopkins, and I don't think we got it in time, but I don't see anything, and Razul Douglas almost had that interception. He was fiending for it. Is he going to throw it to the bubble? He is going to, and we are not going to be getting anybody there. Please don't. All right, this guy's going into the absolute cheese right now. If he wants to go to that play, I honestly don't care because we... I thought he was actually going to throw it to the middle of the field. He decided to go to the out. There's going to be nothing there, and Razul Douglas finally gets his interception. He's been literally trying to throw out Metcalf this entire game, and Razul Douglas finally picks his pockets there. This might not be the best play call. It is basically a fake jet sweep, and it actually did kind of work out a little bit. I don't know why I didn't decide to cut inside. Third and 12. Let's see if we can get anything going here, and Rodgers is getting sacked. Hit him! Boom! Fumble! Darrell Revis! And McCollum is going to be going for the touchdown. Perfect hit sticks are back, man. Darrell Revis forcing a fumble and a touchdown. Get you guys a Darrell Revis. My opponent is out of there. Well, guys, this is going to do it for today's Brandon Ayuk gameplay. Brandon Ayuk actually played really good. Obviously, having 84 speed, you would want the speed to be a little bit higher, but we don't have a bunch of DBs with 86 and 87 speed yet, so you can kind of get away with using Brandon Ayuk on your field. But taking a look at his stats, I mean, he had eight catches, 167 yards, a receiving touchdown, touchdown Brandon Ayuk led a couple drives that led to touchdowns even if he didn't directly score the touchdown so overall it was a very fun gameplay using this Brandon Ayuk let me know if you guys are going to be picking up this new Brandon Ayuk and do you think he stays with the 49ers let me know in the comments below but if you guys did like this video make sure to like subscribe put on post notifications so you guys don't miss another video have a good rest of your day I'm out peace